is insulin resistance and what causes insulin resistance? Hi, my name is Charmaine and I'm the registered dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes at its root cause. And today I'm going to explain to you what insulin resistance is and what actually causes it. If you have type 2 diabetes or are familiar with the term insulin resistance, you probably have heard that insulin resistance is just that there's too much insulin in the blood and your cells are resistant to it. But you never were told why these cells became resistant to insulin necessarily, because insulin is a natural hormone your body produces, and why is there a resistance there, right? And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how that happens and how you can reverse insulin resistance so that you can actually reverse prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. So I want to illustrate insulin resistance using a study done by Yale researchers. In a journal published in 2000, 2004, Yale University researchers were studying out test subjects that are young and healthy and does not have type 2 diabetes. However, these people's parents or grandparents have a history of type 2 diabetes. And what they found is that some of them have insulin resistance. How did they find that out? They put them through the oral glucose tolerance test and found out that their, their body isn't that great at bringing down the blood glucose, indicating insulin resistance. And their researchers actually found out why these people have insulin resistance. It's because they have more buildup of fat in their muscle cells. Now you have have to note that these people are of healthy weight, they are not overweight, and these buildup of fat is not necessarily in your fat cells, but they're in your muscle cells. That's why even people who are not overweight may have type 2 diabetes because insulin resistance is caused by a buildup of fat in your cells. So how did fat get there in the first place? Usually your muscle cells holds a tiny bit of fat in case you are exercising more so it, it can give you some reserve of energy. However, these people that have insulin resistance, they have way higher amount of fat stored in their muscles, actually 80% more than their peers. And the fat reserve have reached its peak where it's actually gumming up the lock. Whereas it means that it's turning off insulin receptors in the cells and causes insulin to not work effectively anymore, meaning the cells are resistant to insulin because there's a buildup of fat in the cells. Kind of like when you stick some chewing gum in the lock and the lock is gummed up. Like I said before, these people are of healthy weight. They're averaging 141 pounds. So the buildup of fat is very different than the fat you build in your waistline. That is why even though some people are active and exercise all the time, they may still have type 2 diabetes. For example, I have a client who is a personal trainer and he still had an A1C of 9.2 even though he works out every day and eats a personal trainer diet. until. He he was able to reverse his insulin resistance, he was able to bring his A1C down to 5.4 in just a couple of months. So this shows you, you really do have to focus on reversing insulin resistance on a molecular level. If insulin resistance in these young people are not treated, eventually they have a high chance of developing type 2 diabetes, just like how people may smoke in their young age and have a higher risk of developing lung cancer. And nowadays, common diabetes diet have not been designed to reverse insulin resistance or help your cells be more insulin sensitive on a molecular level. And common diabetes strategies have not really been focusing on what's happening inside the cells or how your body is processing these carbohydrates or glucose. But a good news is a diet change can alter what's happening inside the cells. And if you're able to lower the amount of fatty acids that's in the muscle cells, you can increase your body's insulin sensitivity and improve its glucose metabolism. One of the best ways to do so is with a whole foods plant-based diet full of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes 
legumes. And I have used this method to help over 600 people reverse their type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance over the years. And they're able to eat more healthy carbohydrates. They're able to lower their A1C, lower their blood sugar, and get off diabetic medications. If you want to learn more on how people are able to do so, you can check out my free training. Link is in the description below. Or you can watch people's real life stories of how they did it on my testimonial playlist on YouTube. And I'll see you guys there. Have a good one.